Thank you for watching our videos. This video by WatchGuard Tax Services is about the separation of liability relief. This is part of a three-part series with Innocent Spouse and Equitable Relief. Please subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos like this. So what exactly is separation of liability? Well, separation of liability is utilized when there is a liability from a jointly filed tax return between the taxpayer and their spouse or former spouse. Separation of liability only applies when there is a liability from an understatement of tax. To qualify for separation of liability, the taxpayer must meet at least one of the following requirements. One, no longer married or you are legally separated from the spouse that you file jointly with for which you are requesting relief. The second is that the taxpayer is widowed or third, the taxpayer was not a member of the same household as a spouse or former spouse that they filed a joint return with at any time during the 12 month period ending on the date they filed for separation of liability. This requirement can get very granular depending on how it is measured. There is a burden of proof on the taxpayer to prove that they met all requirements for separation of liability except actual knowledge and that they have not transferred property to avoid tax. The taxpayer must also show the basis for allocating the erroneous items. There are also some limitations to relief. For example, if the IRS proves that the taxpayer or spouse transferred assets to one another as part of a fraudulent scheme. The IRS proves that at the time the taxpayer signed the joint return that the taxpayer had actual knowledge of any erroneous items attributing to the deficiency that were allocated to their spouse or former spouse. For a deeper explanation of this example, please follow the link provided in the description and below here on the slide. And lastly, the taxpayer spouse or former spouse transferred the property to the taxpayer to avoid tax or the payment of tax. There is exception for domestic abuse. The following two are the exceptions. If the taxpayer was a victim of domestic abuse before signing the return, and because of abuse, the taxpayer did not challenge any of the items on the joint return because they were afraid their spouse or former spouse would retaliate. With all of these qualifications and stipulations, it's often necessary to hire a qualified tax representative to help you navigate separation of liability. WatchGuard has enrolled agents on staff who can assist you with your separation of liability request. There are two other options that sometimes are a better fit. We will review those two options in other videos. They are called Innocent Spouse Relief and Equitable Relief. All the information provided in this video today can be found directly on the IRS website, irs.gov. Thank you for watching this video on separation of liability. For more videos on tax resolution and more, please subscribe to us on this platform and like and follow us on other social media. WatchGuard Tax Services. Welcome to the solution.